Hi, I'm Gaina from Riverside Beads and Crafts and today I'm going to be showing you how to make some matte face masks. I have an assortment here of different colours. Non-surgical face masks though, these are just a face covering. You start off with 8 inch square fabrics or 20 centimetres if you want metric. This is the lining which is interface, you have that down first. This is the next layer, I'm using a plain layer and that's the side that goes onto your face. Then I'm using a patterned one and it's right side together, you can see this is the inside of the fabric, this is the pattern side. 8 inches or 20 centimetres of elastic. This is 0 0.6, uh, this is 6 millimetre. I have done some with wider elastic and it's not doesn't fit quite so comfortably on the ears. So you place this about 1.5 centimetres down and then you pin through all three layers and the elastic. Make sure you've got it going the right way so when it comes out it's not twisted. Again, pin through all, all three sides and do the same on the other side. About one, one, set, one and a half centimetres in from the top and the bottom. And you're going to sew it. So you start at the bottom, leave a gap of about one third in the middle and we're going to leave a, a, do a centimetre seam allowance. So put the needle down, you're also going to back stitch to just strengthen the opening. So just a few stitches, go up to the corner, stop needle down, turn. Don't worry too much about sewing over the pins. Touch wood, I haven't broken a needle yet. I can see it happening today. Again, you back stitch over those and you're just making sure that the elastic is still out of the way. Go all the way up to the top. Again, over the needle, back stitch. Stick it up. Go around. Don't worry too much about puckers, you really don't see them. Back stitch again over that bit. Down to the bottom. And again, just do a third of the way along so that you leave an opening. Back stitch. Cut the pattern off. Then we're going to cut the corners off. Don't cut the stitches. Just cut the corner off. It just takes some of the bulk. Don't cut over the pin because it really doesn't cut over them. All four corners. Just takes away some of the bulk inside. Take the pins out. Much better if they're out of the way then. Take all four pins out. So there's no other pinning or anything required really. We're now going to turn it out, turn it the right way through the opening in the middle. This is the fiddliest bit. And if you leave too small an opening, it's even fiddlier. So I could probably have just done with the opening a little bit bigger. I said about six centimetres, but I think I did that one slightly smaller. And when you're just about there, just use your finger and poke the corners out. And 
that's where if you, if you leave that corner on it just doesn't leaves it a little bit chunky in the corners but again it really doesn't matter at this stage you could just press this if you wanted to but I can't see the point of it you then get a pipe cleaner this is going to be the bit on the nose you can use jewellery wire I would say probably about one millimeter but I feel that you'd probably need to wrap that in something just fold the edges in only a little bit over the edge the top just so that it doesn't poke you in the in your face really fold it in half then you get put it up through that opening and you're going right up to the top and on those seams like that and about about equal equal distance along like that we're now going to top stitch this so that it's boxed in so find it where the end of it is start down back stitch Make sure it's up there. I'm using a contrasting colour so that you can see it. To the end, back stitch again. Cut them off. Let's cut the loose ends off. No need to sew them in or anything. Now we're going to pleat it. It's an inch and a quarter down from the top, half inch, inch and a quarter, half an inch. You need three pleats in it. I found it's fairly easy to do it by eye. So, and you can always adjust it. I did do one wrong and I just unpicked those stitches and I redid it. So again, you just put a pin in. Both sides. And then just down so you've got it black. Like that. So you can adjust it by eye. And the last one. Other side. Now we're going to top stitch it. I start at the top where I've done that. So the top seam, I'm doing it a wider seam purely so that it fits in with that. So again, a bit of back stitching to start off with. Go along to the corner, the side seams and the bottom, just have it a little bit closer. The bottom seam because you're going to sew that gap in at the bottom. You can either take the pins in or just push them out, push them through out of the way. And just sew down. Down to the bottom. Just make sure that that bottom seam is tucked in. And just sew along. Start when you get to the side again. So I'm just going to sew over those pins. I've not broken the needle yet. I'm doing well. Stop at the top a centimetre away because that's about where you are. Join up with that bit and then just do a bit of back stitching. your ends off, cut that loose end off there, take your pins out, and there is your finished mask. So I'm just going to change my glasses here because I'm going to show you, this is a tip that I picked up. 
you just get some buttons. I would recommend probably slightly bigger than I've got there. Two of these little bands. You thread them through the holes of your button and then you thread them on your ear wires. So put it on the mask. Now that you will make sure you put this at the top, as I say, plain to your face, but you can see it's got pleats on the back. If you have that on the outside, like that way up, you're likely to get dust and stuff in the pleats. This way it goes down. Put that on there. You can either put it over your ears or you can hook it over your buttons. And then just pinch the nose bit in. I'll put them over my ears actually. Pinch the nose bit in and that's the pipe cleaner bit which will stop your glasses steaming up as well if you do wear glasses. And it's quite a nice tight fit on both sides. Okay, thank you for watching. We sell a lot of these materials, the elastic, the interface and the materials at, at Riverside Beads. Thank you. Bye.